Oops, where are you off to? I can't stop, I'm already late. Late for what? I'm going on an adventure. Today we are checking off a major bucket list item to celebrate our five year wedding anniversary. You've probably already guessed it, but we are on our way to Hobbiton. We are doing a day trip from Auckland. Our tour only starts at one. So we thought we'd stop in Hamilton along the way for a quick coffee and just to have a look around. This is the first time we've actually gone south of Auckland since getting to New Zealand. It took us about an hour's drive to get from Auckland to Hamilton. Now we're just gonna walk the streets in the city. There's a main square here. There's a river next to us. So we're gonna go have a look. We've just walked down from the city centre and we found the river, the Waikato River. And there's an awesome pathway next to the river. We're going to go take a bit of a walk. This walk along the river is actually really nice. We've seen a few cyclists and runners and people walking their dogs. Yeah, and there's people paddling on the river. We have come to Scott's, a little coffee shop. It was full of people, so we had to come in. Yeah. And we're gonna get some coffees and a little bite to eat. The time is literally running out so fast. We wanted to go to the Hamilton Gardens, but we're not gonna have time. That chocolate brownie was amazing. Even my cake muffin thingy was fantastic. Desserts for breakfast on your anniversary yeah. is a must. Unfortunately, we can't show you any more of Hamilton, so let us know if we should come back and do a full video here. But for now, we're gonna hit the road to Hobbiton. About 40 minutes later and we are at the movie sets. This parking lot is full. There's a lot of people checking in for their tours. We're like an hour early. It's exciting. It's busy. We've been driving through like farmlands for the last 40 minutes and there's just been no one. And you get here, it's just full of people. There's buses, everything. So <laughs> There's multiple car parks here. So if the first one's full, you keep driving and there's more. There's a lot of space. There's a really nice shop on site. We're glad we came early. So we walked around. I got some sweets or lollies and Craig got a beer. Got an amber ale. The beer is brewed here only. So it's a special beer that they brew for Hobbiton. We picked up our tickets and what's pretty cool, you get this nice map with your ticket, which has a little description and map. Tickets for the movie set tour are 89 New Zealand dollars per person. We managed to get on a slightly earlier tour and we're going to make our way to the buses now and then off. Yeah. We just boarded the bus Started. and they're playing cool Lord of the Rings music. It's so cool. It's so festive. Yeah. Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the bus to the movie set. I'm Marie, I'm your driver. I'll be taking you down there. Hello, I just want to welcome you your journey to Hobbiton. I'm very, very pleased that you're able to take the time to go visit our city. That bus ride was very short. Yeah. Not even 10 minutes. Played a few videos, gave you a bit of background. And we drove past the CEO. He was like right <laughs> next to the bus and apparently he still does tours sometimes. Yeah, so it sounds like cool. a good guy. <laughs> This is the fisherman's house and they even smoke the fish there. It's hanging, it's so cool, the little details. E 
each house is set up with a different profession. There's like 44 hobbit holes or something like that. Yeah. And there's little details. There's like a beekeeper and there's honey outside. The chimneys are even smoking, which is pretty cool. It gives you that real like feeling that the hobbit holes are still got hobbits in. Welcome to my hobbit hole. <laughs> Come in. We are up at Bag End now at Bilbo's house that is so cool. It's up on the hill with this beautiful, beautiful view. So we can't visit Sam's house today because it's actually under construction. They're going to add all of this inside the actual hobbit hole. So all of the other hobbit holes are empty. There's nothing in there. But this is what's going to happen right over there. And this area is the party square where Bilbo had his 11th birthday party. Our tour guide just said they actually filmed that scene over four days and they had a beer that was 1% alcoholic, so everyone, all the food and drinks was real. So that must have been so much fun. Okay, off to the pub. Oh, we're we going to the Green Dragon Inn now. Yeah, let's do it. Now we are rushing to get to the Green Dragon Inn. We have only 20 minutes until the bus leaves again. So we're at the pub in the Green Dragon. You can get yourself an amber ale, a start, an apple cider, or a ginger beer, which is pretty cool. <laughs> we bought a nice beef and ale pie. We're going to try it out. A nice small little pie. Oh. Mm. So warm on this cold day. Welcome to the Green Dragon. Would you like some cake? Yeah. We are almost at the end of our tour. It was fantastic. The Green Dragon Inn is definitely a highlight. I'd love to come back here for the feast. You don't have to watch the movies to come visit here, but we really suggest watching the beginning of the movies, and especially the beginning of The Hobbit, because it'll give you a lot of like background to where you are on the tour. All Craig has ever wanted was an old school beer mug, and guess what you get as a gift? An old school porcelain beer mug. So <laughs> I'm gonna buy a few beers tonight and drink them out of this. <laughs> we are heading back to the bus now. I definitely could have spent another half hour here at least. It is so nice. I would love to sit at the Green Dragon Inn. So we'll have to come back and do that evening banquet. It's a bit more expensive but it is booked out like months in advance. Yes. As we leave, the sun comes out, look. <laughs> now it's a beautiful day. Man! On the way back, they played a few clips from the movies. It was so cool to see, like we were there. We just got to Matamata and we parked in Broadway which looks like it's the main road and there's a few restaurants so we're gonna go check them out and have something to eat before we head home. Yep.
do you have there? Mulled wine. Last time I had it was in Europe. I have a Bailey's hot chocolate. The last time I had one of these was in um, Budapest. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Pork belly bars, <laughs> curly fries with aioli, pork belly burger. I'm excited. <laughs> Yo. It's gonna be good. Behind me is the visitor center in Matamata, and we went to the restaurant that is just across the road from it. The food was really good. It was such a cozy vibe in there with a fireplace, all this memorabilia against the wall, like sports photos and old teams and even Lord of the Rings movie posters and everything. If you do come to Hoverton, just pop around to Matamata. It's 15 minutes away and it's really worth it. So we realized there are so many Hoverton vlogs out here on YouTube. So thank you so much for watching ours. And the thing about Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit is these little hobbits going out on crazy adventures. So what we try and do with our vlogs is also just to inspire you to get out there, go on your own adventures, make life exciting, even if you just explore your own backyard. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. I'm going on an adventure. I'm going on an adventure. I'm going on an adventure. I'm going on an adventure.